May I also take this opportunity to affirm Nigeria's commitment to the tenets of the African Union, particularly regarding peace and security, economic development, good governance, and democracy. In the realization of these ideas lies the best welfare and future of our continent and its people. Your Excellencies, this world and our world is a continent in transition. The world exists in a period of fundamental transition. Neither Africa nor Nigeria is exempt from the realities of this transition. Where there is a transition, there is inherently is uncertainty again. Neither Africa nor Nigeria is immune from the uncertainty of the system. If we are to be Africans we seek, we must fulfill our promises to our people. In the statement regarding the, our intention, Yes, as chairman of ECOWAS, I will say emphatically here that we seek to harm no one. We seek to collaborate with those nations in transition. Yet, we cannot submit ourselves to impasse that will create future problems to generations. We strive for a peaceful, strong, united West Africa, and our interest is bigger than that of only one single person. Thus, out of the dust and fog of misunderstanding and acrimony, we must seize the, the change to create an era of trust and accord. We are doing everything possible front door, back door diplomacy to really bring peace and stability and democratic governance to West Africa and to Africa as a whole. On Gaza and the Middle East, here I will be remit without mentioning events in Gaza and the Middle East. We have seen enough violence and suffering. It is time to cease fire, to demand the restraint and dialogue. We must give peace a fair chance. We must deliver a just and lasting solution for all parties involved. On the theme of this year, education, it's essential to a durable solution to challenges confronting our continent. Help to achieve the Agenda 2063 objective of a peaceful and secure Africa. I speak Africa not only of education in terms of the benign use of science and technology to improve the material standard of our people. Africa must also become a better educated in the humane art of democratic practice and conflict resolution. This year's theme encourages us to remodel our educational system to fit these goals in Nigeria. My administration is devoting ample resources to promoting education including feeding our children in schools and investment in telecommunication and technology needed to flourish in 21st century. Admission of the AU into the G20. Admission of our union into the group of G20 is a welcome step in our long-standing demand to play our fair and proper role in the global stage. Nigeria will work closely with South Africa 
and others to justify the present and our representation in the continent. In a similar thing, we remain focused on equitable reform of the composition of the United Nations Security Council. Institutional reform of African Union have been placed on our lap this morning. And Mr. Chairman, yes, we need that reform in order to agenda good governance, development, and democracy in the 21st century. On counterterrorism, violent extremists undermine our effort towards democratic society, where the rule of law outweighs the rule of armed might. While progress has been made, it is also timely that we reassess the decisions adopted in Malabo regarding terrorism. African Counterterrorism Summit, as such, I humbly extend my personal invitation to African Counterterrorism Summit in April in Abuja. This summit aims to expand our discussions beyond military and law enforcement remedies to more comprehensively tackle the root causes of violent extremism, such as poverty, inadequate political access, and propagation of hateful ideologies. I ask that you come to Nigeria, not only to experience our hospitality, but to contribute to a new paradigm for healing. African Central Bank, consonant with the Abuja Treaty, Nigeria is ready and we are making progress. Thank you very much for listening to me. Shukran, the rise, Tinubu.